Hi friends, fresh from a walk with Abby. She went with me today. Jason's on a hike. I had to go back down and get my electrolytes. Getting a little dizzy here. But today is officially the day. Unfortunately, it is noon. I'm just gonna start working around her. Just gonna see how far we get today. If we can empty the room or scoot things to the middle. By the time Jason gets done with his hike, then I think we'll go get your paint, right, Abby? I won't get you. Yeah. No, I'm trying to move underwear. Abby has picked her paint color. Should we show them? It's a light gray. She's tested against her bed frame. She might get a new bedspread, but it's just a light gray. This one, right? The bottom one, Abby? Uh-huh. That one there. Light gray. So, um, I'm gonna drink this. I've got my water. Uh, Chelsea, you're eating lunch. <laughs> Chelsea eats meals way, way earlier than the rest of us because she gets up before anyone. So she's already on to lunch. And I've only had a protein milk and what else did I eat this morning? Oh, Jason made protein waffles and had that blueberry syrup, which I probably did not need that blueberry syrup. I can't find, there it is, a scoop. I could easily use and a pebble ice maker four times this big. Like I wish I had one built into my cabinet. I would get up, give up an entire cabinet to have a pebble maker in my kitchen installed, hooked to water, pebble ice on the on command. So I'm gonna quietly go up and start the room. Unfortunately, it's back to being messy again. Not by well, by certain someone. I've got these body, body armor light ones. Has less sugar. All right. We're starting here. I've gotten stuff from out here. They use this ledge here as like their catch all. All of this was just sitting here. This is also needs to go downstairs. Just straightened up this little area here. I'm gonna plop the mattresses out here. Um, so I just kind of wanted to straighten it up. Kaylee, she's at a game, a baseball game right now, a Mariners game. But when, sometime, she needs to clear these off, decide if she's taking her plants with her. Um, I don't know how many are still actually still alive or if she's doing anything with them. But then if there's extra vases she's not doing anything with we need to get rid of them she probably made half of this stuff so we'll worry about that another time because i'm i'm kind of wondering if we kind of switch things and maybe put the couch here move the tv so you watch it from here i don't know because without her and jacob using this space this big huge mat doesn't need to be here so i don't know that's for the future me to worry about Okay, so far we've got one mattress out, one pad. We need to cut that pad. Chelsea still uses it even with her new mattress. We've got her little art table and caddy out here. Lots of junk. And Abby's helping us too. So we've got Chelsea's bed down to the frame. I really would love to be able to get the frame out, but. All right, we pulled Chelsea's bed out. And um, we were moving this to the center. I don't think we need to get it out of the room. It's, you're keeping this, right, Abby? You're keeping the little one? I think, I don't know. But we've got the mattress out there and the frame just standing up out of the way. Okay, second bed is up. Got this mess from underneath this bed, not too bad. Those parts just go to that dresser, but we never installed them, so. Wait. Lefty Lucy. I'm trying. This is our third attempt. No, left, it wasn't going go yet. left. Left. I'm going left. It's just tight. 
I know, I wish Jason had brought it, the electric one. No. Or just like the power <laughs> screwdriver. He's in the shower, he's home. Smaller. Come, okay. All right, we aren't going to talk about the meltdown point of everyone <laughs> a couple hours ago. And all of us. <laughs> I don't even know where Chelsea is. I feel bad because this is like her, this is her room. This is like her zone. So she doesn't have a place right now. But he is here and we have a hole. Let me just show you. If you can see all the little black marks, that's all. All of those black marks are, it's getting blurry because of the light, sorry. All right, all the little black specks up there are like tape or putty type things from the LED lights that were hung. Um, so he scraped them off as much as he can. He's kind of just um, getting them as much as he can. He's puttying over some of them. You're gonna have to try to paint over them. Yeah. And then just. And then it is what it is. If it doesn't work, we'll have to scrape them out. Yep. Them and, and then there's also little, um, we've kind of shoved the mollies into the wall where the shelf was. I don't think we showed you since we took off. Let me show you the wall here. This is the big wall where the beds were here and then here before. So that shelf was on the wall, pulled it off, um, and shoved the mollies into the wall. He's gonna putty over those. Um, we went to Lowe's. I forgot my camera. You guys were sitting, hanging out right here on the mess. Um, I can turn this fan off, kinda of cold. Cause I just, I haven't showered yet. <laughs> so now I've got like the sweat on me from my walk and it's just, I'm kinda of cold. Um, so we went to Lowe's, we got the spackle, we got the paint, Abby's paint color. Do you wanna look at your paint color and see if it looks okay? Where is it? Did you bring it up? It's... We I'm also got kind of, now I'm stuck in no, here. He's got the ladder out. Um, oh, got all the tape off the same. Well, as much as we can. Well, the white, the clear tape, not the black ones. Oh, yeah. The black tape needs to come off. Well, it won't. You might need to spackle some ceiling spots. Too. Right, that's what. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. I appreciate that. <laughs> I tried to take it down without ripping off the ceiling. I know. No, no, it's no, not you did your a good fault. Job. You it's did a good job. It's just it's the there. way that tape is. Have, it's, we either have to gouge it all out or we have to hope it gets painted over. Yep. So I'm going to spackle what I've already gouged and then we just spackle have to. Spackle over it. It just in case, because paint goes over spackle better than those little tape things. But I have to come back and sand it, so it's just gonna sand off. It's not. Okay. Gonna work well, spackle. we're gonna do the best we can. Um, I, we took Ashley to her friend's house for a couple hours. Well, it was supposed to be for a couple hours. Now I have to leave in 20 minutes to go back and pick her up. So really, like by the time we went to Lowe's, grab some lunch, because um, I was really getting shaky. I forgot to eat lunch. Now I have to go back and pick her up. So. But Abby went to work and then has already come back. There was only like an hour of work to do. Yeah. I set up for the weekend, I restocked stuff, but there was no emails, so. Yeah, so he We have like only maybe 20 parties this weekend, it's like the whole weekend. That's not much. No. The whole weekend. We had more on Father's Day and Mother's Day. Though. I know. That's funny. <laughs> um, People are going out of town, so yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Abby's invested in this room because this is her new room, or it will be. Um, what I would love to do is officially move her bed and have it in here. That's what I want to do. Move my bed in here already? Yeah. Well, when it's, when it's painted. When the room is painted, go ahead and move your bed in here and then start working on it. But anyway, I don't know truly what do we're gonna end up doing. All right, so this wall, <laughs> well, little no, patch right here. I don't know what happened here. Well, we painted it. You can't even like see, but like there's all these little dings all the way down. We just painted it. I think we just got to the end and we're like, screw it, let's just paint it. Cause we didn't want to have to like do all this mudding. This is before we moved into the house. And we just had little bits of time, but actually it was only two months old. So it's not like we had massive chunks of time to come over and do this. So he's on his last little chunk. He's already like worked on 
all these other little spots all over. Abby is undoing all the outlets. She just got home. Oh, you already knew that. So we've got all the outlets here, all the screws in a baggie. This is our just, this is our little work table here. I'm going through, if Jason notices, um, extra spots for me to wash off. Tape it off. Like around here, I wasn't able to like wash before the cover was on or off. What was that, honey? Uh, we need it documented. I've seen the hole and I've thought about patching it, but then I thought then mom's going to want me to paint everything. Yeah. I mean, let me show you. I, we were just talking about this. Well, my knees are shot. I went running today. Like I said, well, we have a bunch of things he could come down and spackle. Here's a little knee divot right here. That's the hole he's talking about down there. But while he has the spackle out and while I'm totally going to do a different I might do beachy pictures on this whole wall. So I'm going to take all of these out. This is just because I don't have anything to do for 10 minutes before I have to get Ashley. All of these need to get done. These keep falling. Um, kids will toss towels or blankets down for laundry and they'll catch on these things and then they just scrape all the way down. So all of this needs to get like done. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these off. I love these cute signs. I don't know if I'll keep them or not. This one is, I think I'm done having that one up. But as you can see, if he um, spackles and fills all of these holes, um, and technically he needs to actually do drywall over this um, and patch that, the problem is, this entire thing, we've talked about this before. Once you have to like paint this, you have to paint all the way up to that corner. This wall would have to get all the way clear up to that corner up against that wall. But then it has to, it, it bleeds into this beam right here. And this is rounded. So this entire beam has to get painted, rounded all the way across here there's all connecting which means this entire section here would need to be a different color which I do want it to be a different color still it just is a bigger I don't know it's a bigger story than <laughs> than just fixing one patch and a couple spackle holes so but maybe maybe we'll do this all right we've got shop light here Grandpa came over because he was bored, Jason's dad. So they spackled there. They're trying to patch this hole, but they don't have the right stuff. So they went to Lowe's to get some either wood filler or like foam filler or something. Out. Yeah, they can. Oh. Um, and then we've spackled this whole wall that had a whole bunch of stuff on it. Uh, now we just get to look at that. Oh, we patched that one up there and there. We also, I think have officially picked the colors for Ashley and Chelsea's room, their new room. This is her bedspread color. Chelsea's got her gray one. So we're gonna try and get maybe a lighter version of this bottom one. Maybe a little bit lighter. I do like it, Chelsea likes it. It looks good with the purple bedspread. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a, like a, a white. We're gonna go whiter and not so gray. We don't want it white, like lighter. So we'll show you eventually, but the window it. wall that has the three little windows on it is gonna be the purple contrast color, oh. the accent color. And then we're gonna do the side walls um, so in just like a plain. This color. No, that one has a purple hue to it. She doesn't, no one wants purple or gray hues to it. They want it to be more white. Okay, well we're not toning down that. No. Not that one, toning this one down, yeah. We're not doing that quite yet, can but. Can I cut it? Can I cut them? Or do they need to? Yeah, you can cut those two. It's just those two. Yeah. I do need to go down and get a lighter color of the sec of the white one, the purpley white one. So, I'm still cycling through laundry. I have washed both of these um, pieces of bedding. Um, as soon as we, well, we're kind of at a standstill, honestly. It turns the bit. I don't know at what point we're gonna end this video. <laughs> Probably just the end of our day, but 
It's only four o'clock, almost five o'clock. I'm exhausted. Every time I sit down, I'm like, oh, can I go take a shower? But I don't want to, because it's, I don't know. It's just, there's no point if we're gonna keep working. Jason's getting ceiling paint and then that foam filler. So if we can get his dad to finish the foam filler on that section, Jason's gonna go and start to, um, well, we just need to put down the, what do you call it, the little plastic tarp on the floor. Um, maybe even tape that to the floor floorboards so that he can start painting the ceiling today. Can tape it to the wall that we're putting it on? Yeah, you can go do that. Yeah, go do that. Everyone's wanting to do something, but we're kind of at a standstill. So, which I appreciate everyone wanting to help. We're just, Abby went up I, trying to like get her stuff ready to go. Cause the next step will be, I know we kind of like set a bunch of different like scenarios. The one that makes the most sense by the time Chelsea and Ashley's room, the one we're currently working on, um, as soon as that one is fully painted, we are going to move Abby's full bed into that room. The dresser's staying, the nightstand is staying. So we will just move her bed and all of her, and, and probably just leave clothes where they are for right now. And then, um, and then that leaves Kaylee and Abby's room half empty. Kaylee is going to Minnesota with Jacob and his family next week what day is it friday next week kaylee goes to minnesota while she's in minnesota we are hoping to gut her side of the room she's going to work this weekend at putting her stuff in bins or boxes to move or store away and then while she's gone and doesn't need her bed we can take her bed down to a mattress and undo her entire bed frame i don't know if i'm going to sell it or um, stick it in storage. I don't, it would be nice eventually if I had no one living left at home to have these rooms as rooms for kids and grandkids and stuff. So I don't know if I want to get rid of the bed, bed, but stick it into storage into that second room up in our bedroom. Then she's on a mattress. Chelsea and Ashley will be on mattresses in that for bedroom. Like a month. No, it's not going to be for a month because I want this done in the next two and a half weeks. So in two days we'll be in. Hopefully, right. by the end of this weekend, you're on mattresses in Kaylee and Abby's room and Abby's bed is out of that room. So it's basically just- And you're just doing right. a bunk room with Kaylee until she goes to Minnesota. Does that make sense? It's a lot. And this is why I've been telling the kids, like we need to start on this because this it's a multi-step. This is not a one day thing. So you're not gonna get a miraculous, ah, oh, ta-da, it's all done video today. It's, this is the process and it's tiring. And upstairs, our playroom looks like it threw up. And it did, it literally yeah. did, so. Yeah, all right, I we just- I told them they made forts and how cool it was in the past. And, and they, they were still like, cool because yeah. I made it. They were like, yeah. And then mom gets really excited about it. Oh my gosh, this is- I didn't say alternative. If there was no, there's no alter alternative right now. The, this has to happen. Yeah. Like, no, show me. are you gonna both yeah, sleep out me. here on that or at, okay. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out as I go. Okay. All right. Well. You stop touching me. I'm gonna. I have to walk away from this. All right. We are back in here. Did Abby do all the taping, or did yeah. you do it? We did it together. Uh, looks good. Uh, oh, what was that? Out of here. Yeah. Ash, take the tape out. So she did all the blue tape around the edges yeah, and the light fixture or the outlets. So he's going to quickly scrape the ceiling Ash. spots. There's not very many of them. What? Um, and then I've got to figure out how to cover this stuff or move it out of the way so that we can um, put the drop cloth down. All right, we actually moved the bed frames out. We have sanded all the little putty marks. Not all of them. This one is not dry yet, but all the little ones are dry. So we sanded them, wiped all the walls, wiped the floorboard again. Um, Jace, grab scissors. We're kind of staging, we're getting ready. I have vacuumed the whole room. And actually, before we move Abby's bed in here, we're gonna clean the carpets while the paint on the walls are drying. So, I think we are all ready. Here is the ceiling paint Jason just got. Well, a couple hours ago. Got everything taped off. 
and we have to do this all over again in like a week. <laughs> I think that's the depressing thing, but we're gonna, I don't know that we need to paint the ceiling. I should go to see, look, look yes, at that. Yes, we are. In the other room? It's disgusting. Is it it's gross? Disgusting. It's the same color as this. Okay. All right, one more trip to Lowe's later. We have a roller. <laughs> we had the foam, but not the roller somehow. I think you left it at work. I must have, I don't get it, yeah. So we are finally doing the ceiling. This is probably gonna go really fast, probably. honestly, but we've got all the floor covered. This, oh, uh, here, pull that over here, Ash, and tape that up. And then over here, we had one small section pulled in some sheets. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, Abby has got Dad's old hat on, and she's working the edges. That's happening while Dad's doing the, this shirt. Here. Yeah. It's a good painting shirt. Good paint shirt. All right. They have officially finished the main coat on the ceiling. We have fan pointed up at it. They're finishing up the final edging. I haven't done the painting, I'm not gonna lie. They have been doing the painting and uh, they're doing a good job. So this Abby's ceiling is good. Better. Yeah, Abby is doing, she's more meticulous over there with her edging than Jason is. She's got a better hand than her. So you can see his, his edging right there. And this is Abby's edging. Enough, I just said she does better. <laughs> We're just clarifying, honey. The brushes are. All right, I am joking. He's doing a good job. He has a fatter brush, so it's not edging as good, but they want to get it done. Okay, that's it. That's the state of the room as of now. It will stay like this for the evening. Um, they are, Jason's gonna paint tomorrow night but I think my girlfriend's just planned a night to go to Din Tai, Tung, Din tai Fung tomorrow night. <laughs> so I'm not going to be painting with him tomorrow night. Meanwhile, Chelsea has made her little nest in this little nook right here. I'm assuming Ashley will sleep on the poof here. I really can't handle, look at, there's the beds. We knew the beds had to come out eventually. Um, so they're just here, they're, that's, they're gonna be here and then eventually over the week after Kaylee's gone, we will, oh my gosh. <sighs> to have to start all over again <laughs> is kind of daunting. But yeah. Kaylee needs to, she needs to pack up. She needs to declutter her entire wall. Um, she is packing up for her trip there. So. Uh, to Michelle, Minnesota, here she comes. She's, I won't tell you what, exactly when she's coming for safety, but she is coming. So, all right, we're gonna sign off with you guys. I am absolutely exhausted. Abby has worked hard with, or no, you haven't worked hard with me. You were in the room emptying it. You're gonna help us paint your room. And I'm sure Kaylee is gonna finagle you to help her declutter her room. Probably. Probably. So she I will get down. I'm really tired. Yeah, she will get her fair share. Are you are you good, Chelsea? So, yeah. Jace, want to say good night? Night. <laughs> That's kind of how we all feel. We're done for the night. Um, this mess, I just have to go in here. This is what I'm doing. I am going in here. I'm shutting my. <laughs> I'm shutting out the mess. Ashley did put her little um, bracelets in here to keep those safe. Take care, you guys. I'm exhausted, but got a lot done today, a lot done, and just stay, stick around because um, we have got a lot more to do, but these rooms are going to be transformed a ton, so we'll see you next time.